Welcome to a lesson on binomial coefficients. Binomial coefficients are the coefficients in the expanded version of a binomial such as the fifth power of x plus y. Let's expand the nth power of x plus y for various values of n. Each of these are done by multiplying everything out and then collecting like terms. To begin though, any non-zero value raised to the zero power is equal to one and therefore the zero power of x plus y equals one. The first power of x plus y is just x plus y which I've written here as one x plus one y, just to emphasize the coefficients of one. However, in practice, we normally leave coefficients of one off. And now let's look at the square of x plus y and the cube of x plus y. The square x plus y, we have two factors of x plus y, and then we multiply, which you may know as the foiling process, or we can think of this as a double distribution, where we distribute the x from the first binomial, and then we distribute the y from the first binomial. This gives us x squared plus xy plus xy plus y squared, which simplifies to x squared plus two xy plus y squared, which I've written here to emphasize all of the coefficients. And now it's cube x plus y. There are no shortcuts. We have three factors of x plus y, but we do know x plus y times x plus y is x squared plus two xy plus y squared from squaring x plus y. And now we have to multiply by x plus y which means we distribute the x squared, we distribute the two xy, and we distribute the y squared. This gives us x cubed plus x squared y plus two x squared y plus two xy squared plus xy squared plus y cubed, which simplifies to x cubed plus three x squared y plus three xy squared plus y cubed, which I've written here to emphasize all of the coefficients but there's a much easier way to determine a binomial coefficient. For example, if you wanted to find the coefficient of x cubed y squared in the expansion of the fifth power of x plus y, this is equivalent to asking for the number of bit strings of length five with weight three, where x represents the one and the y represents the zero. So because we have x cubed, we have three ones, and because we have y squared, we have two zeros, which again does give a bit string of length five with weight three. And we can determine the number of bit strings of length five with weight three by evaluating a combination. Remember, the number of n bit strings of weight k is equal to n choose k. And therefore, n choose k is also the coefficient of x to the power of k, y to the power of n minus k, in the expansion of the nth power of x plus y. As an example, if we're looking at the expansion of the fifth power of x plus y, notice n is equal to five, and because we're looking for the coefficient of x to the third y squared, k is equal to three, this indicates the coefficient is five choose three, which is equal to 10. And the coefficient of x squared y cubed is also 10 because five choose two is also 10. Let's take a look at two more examples. Let's determine the coefficient of x to the seventh y to the fifth in the expansion of the twelfth power of x plus y. So first notice that n, the exponent on the quantity x plus y is twelve, and k, the exponent on x, is seven. So let's first find the x to the seventh, y to the fifth term, and then we'll give the coefficient. So we have x to the seventh, y to the fifth, and therefore the coefficient is n choose k, which is twelve choose seven. 12 to seven is equal to 792, and therefore the term is 792 x to the seventh y to the fifth. The coefficient is 792. And let's look at the second example, which is a little bit different. What is the coefficient of x to the 10th in the expansion of the 15th power of x plus two? So notice here we have x plus two and not x plus y. So to begin, n is equal to 15, and because we're looking for the coefficient of x to the 10th, k is equal to 10. So let's find the x to the 10th term, and then we'll give the coefficient. So again, we're gonna have x to the 10th, but looking at our formula, notice how we also have y to the power of n minus k, and our y value is now positive two. So we do have to raise two to the power of n minus k. n minus k is 15 minus 10, which is five. The sum of these exponents should always equal n. And then the combination is going to be, again, n choose k, which is 15 choose 10. So notice in this case, 
15 choose 10 is not going to be the coefficient because we also need to multiply by two to the fifth. So let's first determine 15 choose 10. 15 choose 10 is 3003. This gives us 3003 times x to the 10th times two to the fifth, which is 32, which means the coefficient is going to be 3003 times 32, which is equal to 96,096. So the term is 96,096 x to the 10th, and therefore the coefficient is 96,096. I hope you found this helpful.